This is to go 0 and 2 in Capcom Cup. We made through first round winners and some of second round losers actually. Big Bird goes with Ken. I don't think he played any Zeku this tournament, huh? Well, again, I, it'd, be, it'd be crazy to see Stan go out this early. It'd be unfortunate to see Big Bird go out so early. Yeah, if you can learn, like, basic pokes and anti-airs, you can go get to silver pretty easily, I think. Uh, after that, if you can just learn to be patient and punish things, then you can get the gold pretty quick. I did the same thing in Killer Instinct. So what I did was, this is how my Bronze to Killer series worked. In Bronze, I only use things that a Bronze player would know. So I was like, alright, I'm going to teach you these two things, and these two things will get me from Bronze to Silver. Now that we're in Silver, I'm going to teach you two new things, and now you have four total things. And if you have these four things, you can make it to Gold. Now that we're in gold, I'm going to teach you this, and, you know, etc. So that's the same kind of idea I would approach Street Fighter with. Nice and patient. Nice and patient from Big Bird at the start of this. You can't you can't really poke too too much against uh, Ibuki when you are playing Ken in the neutral, right? You kind of have to play reactively. Although, I like the roundhouse. Without bar, I don't think Ibuki is that scary on the ground here, right? It's pretty much stuff like down strong into kunai, which is regular kunai is not that scary. Just a couple of pokes. Now she has meter, so EX kunai is a threat. I like the neutral jump. It was a good try. I think Big Bird is really a uh, really solid player, man. He's so good. All right, he's. It's very fortunate that he doesn't get mixed up here too badly, right? Like, he doesn't have to eat the 50-50 out target combo. He just gets that pressure, and now he's out. So a down strong EX kunai and a throw is not too bad. You'll take those, and now he can activate if he finds a good hit. See, he just wants Kunai into V trigger. So Big Bird on no bar because of the EX Tatsu. Got him. Yeah, this could be the round. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Uh, match analysis for Tekken would be harder because I'm not as knowledgeable about Tekken as I am as other games. Like, most 2D games, I think I can do match analysis for okay if I watch it a lot or play it. But much harder for Tekken than other games. I think that's one thing about Tekken in general is that there's not a lot of analysis. Uh, not a lot of, like, deep analysis, right? Because Tekken is such a fast-paced game. There's so much knowledge that you have to know to do high-level analysis. Wow, he just buffered him. EX, right up. And then down short, down medium kick. Buffer, just in case Ken moves forward and he caught the run. Big Bird uses a lot of run in neutral. Um, and I think that it's like one of those things where you sort of fall into this pattern where you're scared of his defense. Like, he's so patient, right? So Big Bird is so patient. He's just sitting there waiting, and then all of a sudden he runs. And uh, it really catches you. That's right. Into the corner now. Big Bird trying to fight his own way out. We already saw his do. Yeah, he does. Oh, wow, just command dashed out. Yeah, he he made a prediction, right? Like, if he gets meaty thrown there, he gets meaty thrown. But he's making a... Or meaty jab, I mean. But he's making a prediction that Big Bird wouldn't put on the, the pressure. Jeez. 50-50. What a block. It was kind of obvious, I think, uh, that it would land in the front here. Right? Like, Big Bird can see that he's going to stay in the front. So I think Sien decided, like, because the mix-up was obvious, just take the block. And uh, you can't b blame Big Bird, right? Because in that situation, it was like, all right, I, I know what side this mix-up will land on, so I'm willing to take the risk. And I'm willing to thank Oki Shop for the five bucks. Thanks very much for you uh, tipping me with the five bucks. It's very kind of you. Big Bird's got to rethink this. I think, like, his style is really... Man, that mix-up is so cheap, by the way. His style is really, really, really slow, really solid. But Sien is like the the master, right? He is like the master of playing nice and slow neutral. And that's what you're seeing here, right? Just that little standby kick check on the run. He waited so long. There was How long was Big Bird like in neutral here just waiting, right? Five seconds maybe? Run, and then he just tags it, right? He's too prepared. Yeah, Tekken has a very deep level of depth. And to do analysis at a high level, take someone who 
has like incredible knowledge of the series. It has to be so to do a match analysis like I do for Street Fighter or other fighting games for Tekken. This is what you have to be. You have to be a legacy player who really knows the game incredibly well. You have to know how to speak quickly and do analysis uh, of stuff and also keep it entertaining, right? Because if your analysis is too dry, no one's going to want to watch, right? So you have to be able to speak well, uh, make analysis that's interesting, but also keep it moving. Because if you spend too long talking about one thing, you're going to, you know, sort of run into it, to trouble. And the second thing is you have to. Uh, be able to do this all kind of on the fly for all the characters on all the matchups, right? Which is really difficult. I don't think there's a lot of people who can do it. Uh, anyway, in this match, I like the Big Bird jump. I'm going to explain why. Because I think that in the first round, he played his sort of normal style. And it was a little too slow paced. So instead, he's like, look, I'm going to just come in in the air. And I'm going to start to take risks. He does B skill to pull his hurt box back. Expecting him to go with like down strong or maybe down medium kick. And he just tags him with the, the uh, fierce. Yeah, keeping it moving. A lot of people get too stuck on one idea. If you can't explain the idea quickly and concisely, then it's going to be hard for people to watch. Caught them. Yeah. It's a good example of how the neutral can change, right? So Big Bird is playing this slow and steady neutral. He starts the round with a jump, right, to make Cien kind of nervous. He takes a big risk. Cien gets crush countered, so he's sort of thinking about that. And now it's time for Big Bird to go for the run, right? Now Cien is thinking about other positions on the screen, so run up back strong catches. Oh, he tried to bait the throw there, too. Yeah, Big Bird made a good style adjustment here, for sure. Crush counter. Yeah, take that side switch. Oh, missed time. I like that side switch, though, and I like the, the change of pace from Big Bird. Now he's slowed it down a little bit. He's kind of gone to that style of Ken, where it's like, is the, the approach going to be jump Tatsu, jump button, run on the ground, dash? And that's sort of making Sien change his style to be... Like, he's got to, you know, slow down a little bit. Excellent neutral jump. He slowed down a little bit, and because of that, it gave Big Bird the opportunities to sort of wait him out. Just a little bit outside of that range. This time he was good. And again, dashing. I like the neutral jumps. Neutral jump is really strong against Ibuki for a couple of reasons. It's good against V skill. It's good against jump EX Kunai. Uh, it'll beat something like jump or standing heavy kick. It's really good against a lot of buttons. All right, dashing a little bit. He looked for a counter poke there from Cien. Yeah, that's a brutal button to deal with. Down strong from Ibuki. Oh, missed it. Yeah, accidental reload. Caught him. What a block. There we go. Near stun. It is stun. So he probably wants, uh, yeah, just simple combo. Take the knockdown here. Plus frames. Just check him. See what he's thinking about. One button will kill him now. This becomes real dangerous, right? Yeah, chase down. Ken is one of the few characters that can then tag that if he's ready. Nice work. Big Bird showing a lot of natural knowledge here. Just block. Yeah, just take these throws. Not a big deal. Good buffer. Yeah, good view reversal. Now one bomb negated. The second bomb from Ibuki is not as dangerous unless she has bar and kunai, right? First bomb is always dangerous if it lands because it leads to a second mix-up. It's a lot like Yuri and Aegis, right? Where when there's only one left, it's it's more resource intensive for them to get something strong. See, second bomb is out. You could just take the V reversal here, force her to go for a mix-up now. And yeah, it's not the end of the world, right? It's, it's much better than if she lands first bomb or the threat of first bomb in general. It's not too bad. It's still really good. Oh my god. There's been so many defensive irreversals. What a read. Damn, that sucks. That's a super unfortunate situation for Big Bird. Because Cien might not have even been looking for V-reversal. He might have. There's like a decent chance he was. But even if he wasn't, right? Like, yeah, it just turned out that that beat it. Back strong check. Mm -hmm. Walk back, back strong from Ken is really good. Really good for just keeping your opponent honest and sort of checking their movement. Oh, 50-50. That's front, right? No! Oh, that was messed up, dude. There's no way she could get under at that height, right? Like, look at how far... Man, I can't believe she made it under. And he he converted for counter hit. You see that? Damn, he's good. Look at this. So, when he goes under, he catches the counter hit here. He catches a counter hit from Big Bird. And the counter hit pushback is massive. Almost as massive as my appreciation for Theo 5000 subscribing. But even more impressive 
is that he gets the counter hit confirm afterwards. He doesn't have any bars, so he can't EX Kunai. So he just gets the roundhouse uppercut. Damn. Yeah, that's common strategy, right? This used to be really common with Ryu. I mean, a lot of characters can do this. Kami can do this. You do a standing heavy kick looking for crush counter, and then afterwards you do a button because the whiff recovery is so fast. It's really, really, really strong. Punish? Yeah, and that's a stun. One hit stun. The Kunai release will probably kill, right, with the X? Got him. It was a good adjustment from Big Bird in the first couple of rounds, but damn, he just got he got mixed up. It happens, right? It happens. Sometimes you get mixed up. You get hit by that down strong, and you're in a bad position. There's not there's not a lot of uh, solutions once you're forced into the mix up, but try to make educated guesses. And I think the V reversaling was a smart idea. It just turned out to uh, to turn around on him at the end. Can very well beat around. So what's the solution here for Big Bird? Is it to switch characters? Uh, I think Ken is the way forward. Um, I think he's just got to be a bit more cautious with his approach. He's, he's not. He's not respecting the danger of the EX Kunai. It's, it's a complete. Yeah, I'm actually like. I think currently one sub away. No, I'm like. I have room for another emote. Actually, I have like five emote slots available. <laughs> I need to uh, commission someone to make me some emotes. Yeah, and the switch to Momochi Ken color, the green, I like it. It's a cool Ken color, actually. Yeah, again, I like a little bit more dashing. The neutral jumps are a good call. It's good against a lot of the tools Ibuki has. Back throw, there we go. Minus, yeah. Mm, frame trap. Same kind of idea as Ken dash, right, with the V skill from Ibuki. Back throw. Is there a back dash here? That might have been what Sien was looking for with the TK Kunai, right? Uh, I mean, I will use the intro. Do you want me to show the intro? I can show it if you uh, if you want me to. It's really awesome. Back throw again, damn. Yeah, he's actually almost always never had meaty throw after. It's been delayed pressure, so Sienna is just really patient. He's willing to eat the throw there. Nice. I like him staying in front because it meant that he keep corner positioning even if it was... Oh, no. Damn, that's so unfortunate for Big Bird, honestly. Three bars of meters, just worst case scenario there for Big Bird as he comes into what may be the last round of this tournament. Wow, massive drop from Big Bird. Match point, Shen. That's probably the worst possible drop you can have there, right? It's like if you're Big Bird, it's so difficult to mentally compose yourself. Is he gonna guess right? Oh. Doesn't go for the reset again. Just goes for the knockdown. All right. Snaps out that roundhouse. Man, Ken down strong into fireball. Didn't even ca combo right there on, uh, what's it called? Counter hit from that range? That sucks. Surprise. Got him. Yeah, take that DP. But the scary part about Ibuki is that she's now on V trigger, right? Which means that any down medium punch could win him the round. Ah. This is for the round. Brutal. Brutal, 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 brutal. One down strong always puts you in the same kind of position, right? The bomb is out. Stay in the front. Ah, uh, and then the ex that's execution error, right? You're trying to... Uh, what's it called? Trying to get the uh, buffer into V-Trigger. It didn't come out. Poor Big Bird. A couple of execution errors. I feel like he had a, a pretty solid like approach to the matchup i think i like his strategy i just think that uh, a couple of pretty crucial situations didn't turn out for him that drop on critical art that's rough yeah i don't know i think i liked his uh, i think i liked his odds but sian played real clean and he had less less uh, execution mistakes